Guys, I cannot be bothered. I do not feel like putting on clothes. So I'm just coming to you in my bathrobe. Get my hair right, because I know y'all always talking crap about me fluffing my hair. So let me stop. Hi, my name is Erin. Welcome back to my channel. So I was on Snapchat and I was just telling everyone like my budgeting secrets and like what I've been doing to save all this money. And um, a lot of people were interested in it. So I was like, let me just make a video about it. So first I start off with the 50, 20, 30 rule. So for our scenario, let's just say, say I make $2,000 a month. So that means for over 12 months, which is a year, I make $24,000. Let's just make it even and round. This is not mine. This is just a sample. Let's say we make $2,000. So 50% of $2,000 is $1,000. So our $1,000 is going to be our 50%. So 50% um, should be going towards your fixed expenses. So for example, rent, phone, bills, um, trash if you live in an apartment, car insurance, all those kind of things. Every the, the amount of money that doesn't change per month. So with my 30%, that's my living expenses. So that can change from month to month, um, just depending on uh, how you are. So that's my living. So that's going to be my food, um, my gas, my entertainment. That's going to be my 30% category. So the 30% that is going to be about $600 if we're using our 20 if we're using our $2,000 budget. And then there's that 20%. The 20% is going to be going to savings. Whether you need an emergency fund, which is three to six months worth of your income. So my emergency fund, if we're following the scenario, should be about $6,000 to $10,000 saved up just in case you lose your job. Um, or if just in case anything happens, the air conditioning goes out in your car, just things that you have, like life events that happen that you cannot control, that's gonna be for your emergency fund. So after you have your emergency fund, the rest of your money should be going towards debt and you have unpaid credit cards or you have school loans, that 20% of your income should be going towards your debt. So say you don't have debt, you're like me, and you got a scholarship to school, and you don't have any other kind of debt, then that's when you can start saving for like a home or for a car, for whatever you want, whatever you want. So now that we kind of have our 50, 20, 30 rule down, my 50%, all of my rent and everything, that's going to be auto pay for me. Um, if you want to call and do that, that's fine. But my uh, phone is auto pay, my car insurance is auto pay, so I don't even have to think about that. And all my bills that are on auto pay, they will stay in my checkings and they will just come out gradually throughout the month. So my 20%. So um, I have a separate bank for my savings account. So my checkings account is in bank number one and my savings account is in bank number two. Okay, so that just helps me literally separate my checking from my savings. I do not touch my savings because right now I'm saving for that emergency fund. I will go to my bank number one where my my uh, job sends my money to, they send it to my checkings account. I will just divvy everything up. So I take my savings, my 20%, and I put it into my bank number two, and then I'll take out my cash that I want to spend for the entire month. Like I said, say we have $600 to spend with our $2,000 scenario. So I have $600 to spend, I'm rich, I have my $600 on my debit card, and so I'm swiping, 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 and I spend $400 at Ulta and Home Goods and Target in one weekend. So now I only have $200 left, for the entire month to eat and sleep and you know eat and whatever so that's not good so for the 30 percent my living expenses i use the envelope system and i don't know if many of you've heard of it i just always was like i'm just not going to spend any money at all i'm just going to save all my money i'm not going to do anything but then it like made money like not fun it was like i felt guilty spending so now with this envelope system i don't feel guilty when i'm spending because i've pre-planned what I'm going to do throughout the month. I'll just use my examples. Um, I like to get my nails done. I made a clothes envelope. Um, I made an envelope for food. I made an envelope for gas. Um, and for a movie, you know, I just want to try and catch a movie this month. So each of my envelopes have a certain amount of money in it and I can only spend what's in that envelope. So if I had $20 um, in one envelope, that's all I can spend that entire month. So don't go into your, don't be dibbling dabbling in different envelopes because the system's not gonna work. So say you spent all your clothes 
all the money in your clothes envelope and you're like oh well I can take like ten dollars out of my gas to cover the rest no you these are like ironclad envelopes this helps you you have to have a little bit of self-control um, and it just is a such a helpful way into not overspend you spend what's in the envelope so if you say hey um, next month I really need less food it actually more um, more money to go get some shoes okay we'll do that if you don't need as much money in the food then you can put it somewhere else whatever day you get paid I suggest you write down your budget and assign every single dollar that you make that two thousand dollars that you make a month assign each penny okay so if I want 20% in my savings that 20% is gonna go in my savings if I want 40% in my savings put 40% in your savings if you can if you live at home or you you know you can cut your budget in different ways do that but make sure that you assign every single dollar a place there's not gonna be $50 that's just not assigned you can have like a miscellaneous envelope because you're like oh, you know I don't want to be stifled I don't you know I want to buy some Doritos from the gas station sometime you can because you have your miscellaneous envelope write down your budget write down how much is going to come out of your checkings account how much is going to be in your savings and do your envelope system for that 30% I suggest you do that whenever you get paid just so you're not overspending or you're not spending impulsively plan everything that you do last thing I do is I have a planner for everything that I'm doing so I'm gonna show you guys an example um, I use stickers and I use just like cute things to make budgeting fun I use June 2018 calendar just because I'm not gonna be using that one for a while just so I can show you guys um, a sample so let's say we're using our $2,000 scenario again um, I'm gonna put stickers down for payday I'm gonna write down when my phone is due when my water is due even even though these are these are on auto pay I still like to see what I'm doing and I just still love having that fresh paper and that pen and just writing it down it just makes it so fun and periodically I will check my budgeting calendar throughout the month just to make sure everything's going properly I have all my banking apps on my phone and I'm constantly checking them making sure my money is right um, that's one thing that about me I do not play about my money so I'm all I know how much is in each account grocery list my list of groceries and toiletries I have my little purse and then I have my envelopes so I'm going to buy some toiletries I'm going to get some food from the grocery store and then I also need to pick up my medicine I just love paper lists like I just love paper <laughs> I don't have paper and pen but if you don't like paper and pen you can just put it on your notes in your phone So yeah guys I hope you really enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and write in the comments like what do you do how do you say like what's the best way that you say do you, have you ever used the envelope system does it work does it not work let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video bye